I'm here with Leslie Dean, who was most notably Tracy from Freddy's Dead. She was also in 976 Evil, which was directed by Robert England, and has a pretty kick-ass band and kick-ass look to her. So how are you doing today? I'm doing kick-ass. How are you doing, Jerry? I'm doing very well, thank you. How did you get started in acting? I packed my car up from Hearst, Texas and drove to L.A. Was the first role you ever did in 976 Evil with Robert England? No, the first role I ever did was actually uh, Weird Science, but all my parts got cut out. At least I got my SAG card from that. That was the first interview I went in on, and I was fortunate enough to get, I can't remember the, the character's name, but I, I got that role. And I worked on that movie for about a month, a month and a half, and had a blast. Had you seen any horror films before you had gone in for 976 Evil? Um, the only like major horror film I'd really seen before that was The Exorcist. With 976 Evil, I, I, I have to admit, I sadly have not seen that. See that film. That's Robert, that's Robert's directorial debut. Shortly after 976 Evil, though, you did, or I don't know how much time there was in between, Freddy's Dead came along. Uh Uh-huh. Now, I think they made a comment that he had kind of suggested you for that role? Or for, uh, for Freddie's Dead, no, he actually hadn't. He didn't oh. know I was coming in. And we saw each other on the set, and he was all excited. I, I, you know, I've been, I was fortunate enough to work with Robert, you know, three times. It's, I did the 976 Siebel for his directorial debut. Then he directed an episode of the Never Sleep Again series, or what was it called? Uh, Freddie's Nightmares? Yeah, Freddie's <laughs> Nightmares. Uh, series is called Cabin Fever, and then I did the Freddy's Dead, the Final Nightmare. From uh, Freddy's Dead, did you enjoy being on set then, I take it, and have fun doing another horror film? I just had fun hanging out with Robert and Ricky and Brecken and Lisa and uh, Sean and Yafit. You know, it was like a family. It was a, it was a good long shoot, and we all got along, and working with Tom Arnold and, and uh, Roseanne Barr and Johnny Depp and Alice Cooper, you know, it was just, it was a really cool... It was a really cool time. So, shortly after Freddy's Dead, you did you retire from acting shortly after that, or did you? Uh, what had happened is my my theatrical manager had put a all girl band together and asked if I wanted to do that. So I went off and did that for about four and a half five years. And speaking of band, you are currently the lead singer of a band, correct? I am Scary Cherry and the Bang Bangs. Now, what? How did that get started? How did Scary Cherry and the Bang Bangs get started? Well, I started playing roller derby, and uh, we needed a theme song. So I thought, ah, you know what? I'm going to go write a theme song. So uh, me and my ex sat down and wrote uh, our first Scary Cherry and the Bang Bang song called The Slaughter. And I skated with a team called The Slaughters. I was the captain and coach and also on the travel team. And uh, it was was really cool. And... Yeah, the band was sort of born out of roller derby. What type of music do you do y'all play? Uh, all of our fans have sort of named us glitter punk, so you know we we wear that moniker pretty proudly. So we we consider ourselves glitter punks. How many albums do you have out? Uh, we have an EP, and we just released our debut album last year, and our single on it, "Don't Wanna," won the best rock single from the Independent Music Awards. Uh, where would people be able to find your music? On YouTube, iTunes, uh, just the typical Reverb Nation, just, you know, the the normal places, SoundCloud, all that stuff. The last thing that I I think you've done movie-wise was uh, the Never Sleep Again legacy. Uh Uh-huh, yeah. Did you ever think that you would be in a documentary about Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, or that the movie you were in would have as big of a reach as it did? Well, I, I don't know if it was necessarily the movie. I just think it's the legacy of Robert and the nightmare. But, you know, funny that you asked that. One of my last interviews I did regarding Freddy's dad is they said, you know, well, what do you hope to take away from this movie? And I said that it's timeless. So uh, it sort of came true, I think. I, I agree with that. I think, um, too, that Freddy's dad took it a little more in the comedy side. Yeah, most definitely. But that's why I kind of like it, because it's not just the same old thing. Yeah, they took a chance with it. So, do you have any upcoming tour dates for your band? We're actually going to be heading out this week uh, to the Whiskey A Go-Go in L.A. We're playing with the Barbed Wire Dolls, so that's going to be pretty epic. 
she's sort of considered the punk queen and I'm sort of considered the glitter punk queen. So uh, we're, we're bringing a new music scene to the Sunset Strip, basically. They live in, they live in L.A., we live in Dallas. So Now, is there anything you would like to uh, promote or how can people find you? Uh, they can find me on Facebook or they can find me at scarycherry.com or Facebook, Facebook backslash Scary Cherry and the Bang Bangs. No, Scary Cherry. So it's backslash Leslie Dean or backslash Scary Cherry. And there's also a Leslie Dean fan page on Facebook. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to do this interview. Do you have any last words you would like to say? Um, I like spaghetti meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> that works. All right. Th thank you so much. Oh, you're so welcome, Jerry. Thank you.